as with capital structure taxes are also an important market imperfection that influences the firm's decision on distributing dividend as cash payment to the shareholders or in the form of repurchasing shares from these shareholders in the open capital market shareholders pay two types of taxes on uh, their income the one the first tax is the tax on their dividends and the second is the tax on their capital gains they earn in the capital market if tax rate on dividend is greater than tax rate on capital gains the shareholders will prefer to go for a repurchase transaction than to receive dividend in the form of cash also a high tax rate on dividend prevents a firm to raise funds to pay shareholders in the as cash dividend this means that in the firm in the world of no taxes and issuance cost if dividend is paid through the issuance of equity then this means that the shareholders are not better off this means what they are getting in fact they have already paid this means that the amount they are receiving in the form of dividend is the amount they have paid to the firm in the form of proceed against the sale of issues so in net shareholders are getting nothing but if the tax rate on dividend is greater than the tax rate on capital gains shareholders will lose their initial investment that they had made in the firm's stock to understand this we have an example the firm is raising new equity uh, to the tune of 10 million dollars and the firm is planning to pay this amount to the shareholders so the total dividend in the form of cash is also equal to 10 million dollars then the question arises that how much will shareholders receive if the taxes if dividend tax rate is 40% and capital tax rate gain tax rate is 15% now we see that the dividend receipt is equal to 10 million dollars and there is a tax rate on this dividend by 40% so the tax to be deducted from this receipt of 10 million dollars is 4 million dollars now as the firm is paying its 10 million cash to the shareholders so there is decline by 10 million dollars in the firm's overall value this means that the capital gain of the shareholders will also be reduced by 10 million dollars so there will be a reduction in the capital gain tax paid by the shareholders to the tune of 1.5 million dollars now in net the shareholders are paying 2.5 million dollars as a tax on this proceed of 10 million dollars but after making a payment of 2.5 million dollars the shareholders will be receiving a net proceed of 7.5 million dollars so there is a decline by 2.5 million dollars in the uh, income of the shareholders so what would be the optimal dividend policy in the world of taxes we have seen that if the tax rate on dividend is greater than the tax rate on capital gain the shareholders will pay lower taxes in case of repurchases than the cash dividends this means that this tax saving will also increase the firm value accordingly and to equate investors of such firms it is better that dividend paying firm needs to pay a higher amount of pre-tax return to the shareholders and if the tax rate on dividend is greater than the tax rate on capital gain the optimal dividend policy is simply that pay no dividend at all then if this is the policy then why firms are paying cash dividend to the shareholders across the globe this phenomena is now termed as a dividend puzzle in the corporate finance world and that phenomena says the fact that the firms are continuing issuing dividends despite of this tax disadvantage.